Morning everybody. Daryl with RV Adventure TV. We're at the KOA campground, Tucson, Arizona. And it's time to get on down the road. We're gonna jump over to Yuma for a couple days, see what's going on over there, do a few things. I wanna show you how we uh, break down our fifth wheel, Heartland Landmark, San Antonio version. <laughs> This is how I do it. Doesn't mean this is the right way to do it, but this is how I do it, and uh, a lot of suggestions from the manufacturer. So first thing I do is I walk around the rig, and as you can see, I've got blocks under all of my stabilizers. Now the factory recommends that you put your slides in first, then lift your landing gear up or your stabilizers or your levelers, whatever you want to call them. And that's what I do. So I walk around, make sure there's nothing in the way, nothing, a towel or a coat or a blanket or something that you left over was uh, done. So you walk everything over, look at everything, make sure everything's okay for the slides. There's nothing under here. You didn't store any ice chest or chairs. And just here by looking, you want to walk around, look at this. Just found this. Look at these screws that are backed out. Now, if I wouldn't have done a good walk around, I might be driving down the road and these come all the way out. So you always gotta keep an eye on your rig and checking everything. All right, so we're gonna put the stabilizers up. Everything looks clear. I mean, we're gonna put the slides in. Everything looks clear. So I can go ahead and put them in without any problems. So let's see if we can get this done. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay out here and show you the, the slides coming in. Kim's going to be inside bringing them in. I can watch the seals from out here. She's taking, she's taking the back one in first. We let it go in a little bit, make sure none of the seals are sticking. See how the seals are curling inside? The topper's on top. You need to make sure there's nothing on top of them that blew in there. the kitchen completion of the back and then the bedroom will be next Good communication is always important between your significant other. Always need to double check when you're doing with these slides, especially the lower ones that nobody's under there and all of a sudden decided to go under there and maybe do a flush valve or something. You gotta be kind of careful, especially with these hydraulic ones, because there's no stopping them. The bedroom's going in, the awning is rolling, or not the awning, but the topper slides rolling up in there good. Seals are coming in. That locks up great. So that's it, this side. Now I'm going to go in, move some stuff around, and we'll close up the other side. Here we go. Let's bring in the living room slide and the dinette table. Everything's so good so far. 
The top are rolled up nice and neat. Seals are turning in. Coming all the way in. Now you can see all your weight is back on the coach. And now we can start picking up all our blocks. Okay, now what I'm gonna do first is these are stabilizer jacks. They're only made to stabilize the rig. They're not made to lift it up, they're not made to level it. So these I put down very last just to stabilize the back end to stop it from doing, you know, the shaking and just give it a little bit of support on the rear end. So we're gonna lift these up. Let me show you where the controls are. All right, Kim's gonna help out here, show him what we do. Inside here, and it took us a while to figure out where these stabilizers are. We know how to do them manually, but uh, Kim figured it out. Right inside here is landing legs control. Now, I thought it was for the ones up front, but I never mess with it because there's one externally. But that right there has got retract and extend. And Kim's gonna push that button to retract them, and we'll see what happens. All right, Kim. Now these are motor driven, which is great, but you can also put them down manually. And these take a, a pretty good long time to come up. But these will come all the way up. These run off the battery. So you can dry camp and use these. So as you can see, they're coming up. And when they get all the way up, they'll stop automatically. Next, we're gonna bring these up. You've got your front landing gear and you got your, your back rear levelers. There's the one that helps keep the, the, uh, the rig nice and level. Now, I've always been told you never wanna lift up on this front part while these are down because you're raising all the pivot and putting a lot of pressure back there and you can break them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the back ones manually through the control inside this compartment. Now, if it was fairly level, I could actually hook the rig up to it and then to hit auto retract and it'll pull all four of them up. But in this case, we're not gonna do it. So where I go is I go inside my LCI electronics control leveling. This is what levels all the rig. Turn that on. Okay, says it's ready, the jacks are down. I'm gonna go to manual and go into manual mode. Hit enter, okay. Then I'm gonna hit retract, all right. And then I'm gonna hit rear, and this will bring the rear. Go ahead and show them, Kim. This is gonna bring the rear levelers up. You can take the blocks out and store them and then you can get ready for bringing your truck underneath here and hooking up. So we're going to do that next and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, what Kim and I are going to do, we're going to hook up Maddie up to the truck. We're going to bring this truck back to where it gets close to the kingpin and get leveled up. Now the front of this right here should be right on that white line or right inside the catch okay and that should be touching that white line that's what's recommended uh, with this rig is how to set this up and hook it back up all right so i'm going to bring it back kim will get me where i can stop right there i'll lower this or raise it however i need when i get a little bit closer okay kim mm -hmm. want to hold this Now that we've got
got the truck closer, we're gonna come over here, go to our landing jacks, and we're gonna bring the unit down a little bit, okay? Just where it touches, right there, and hits that head. And now you see where that's gonna go right up in the guide and lock in, okay? And also, just a little safety trip, whenever you do this, and you're backing up a truck, nobody should be in between this pinch point here. Because that's really a bad place. And you gotta watch your feet because you're up here trying to look in and stuff. And you could get run over too. So you gotta be careful. All right, so we're gonna back it all up. Kim's gonna show you how it locks in and how the handle will come shut. Not right here, babe. All right. The sunset bright. There you go. All right, so it locked in. You saw the handle go in. Now you come back and you can go ahead and retract these the rest of the way. Or you can go over to the to the LCI controls and hit uh, auto retract and it'll lift everything up at one time but I find this just an easy to, way to do it so you hit retract the jacks that come down on the truck all the weight comes off okay so now all the weight is on the truck So you want to make sure all your jacks come all the way up. They're all the way up. Close up the door. All right, now you hook to the truck. Final connections. It's right here. We're going to put this in there. Put the crown point up. Get locked in there real good. Push down on this. Make sure it locks in. All right, and then the breakaway for the trailer locks. If, if something happens for whatever reason, this comes apart. I hook mine up right in here on this pin. Okay, so that is how we hook up our rig. Now we'll go ahead and take off all the sewer, the water. We're going to fill it with uh, water because we're going to be dry camping for about four days. And then the last thing we do is we undo our shore power. And again, surge protector by Progressive Industries. If you don't have one, you should really get one. Because it's going to be real expensive if something goes wrong. All right. So that's our little show. People have been asking how you set your rig up, how you break it down. That's how we do it. And all you have to do is watch this video in reverse. And that will show you how to set up. But we may do one. But anyway, Daryl with RV Adventure TV. We hope this helps somebody. Uh, if you're thinking about getting a fifth wheel, it's not that difficult. It's not that hard. You know, you can do it. It's no difficult in hooking up a, a, a toad that you pull back behind your uh, rig. So please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And comment. We like to hear everybody uh, give their opinions and express some uh, any concerns or anything that you see that could be done differently or help out somebody else so until then rv adventure tv see you down the road stop the madness start the adventure